Thanks for the time of LSE Share Talk. Thank you. Good to see you. Callum? Alex, yes, good to see you. So, why are you in London tonight, you guys? What's, uh, what's the purpose for the visit? Well, the, we're here with the Mining Maven event tonight, uh, talking to investors and uh, shareholders and uh, just giving them a sense of you know some of the you know, big changes that are going on in the company and some of the new programs that we're uh, working on. Uh, you know, there's been a few changes, we're taking a much more proactive uh, approach to uh, exploration and also to external opportunities. So we just wanted to give people a chance to listen to that and ask the questions and that sort of thing. Events. I can't keep up with you at the moment. I follow, I followed this story for, for a while on our LSE Share Talk and also on the on the Twitter account. You brought an RNS out yesterday. Mm. Do you want to talk yesterday being the twentieth of June? That's right, Monday. Yes. So yes. do you want to have a quick tell us about that one please? Sure. Sure, yeah. Um, yesterday's announcement was uh, commit announcing commencement of drilling at the Bromus project, which is a nickel sulphide project. Yeah. And um, effectively we're moving into a more active phase of exploration overall for the company. And we've identified some very compelling targets at the Bromus project, and we're going to be moving into a phase of testing those with drill holes, um, hopefully starting in the coming weeks, the drilling. We have it scheduled for starting in the next couple of weeks. And um, it will test um, some sulphide targets for nickel that we have identified. They're quite well defined and relatively shallow and we're looking forward to getting in and testing those. And then we jump forward to today, the 21st, and I'm on the train, you brought another RMS out today. That's right. <laughs> I can't keep up with you. So obviously I know today's RMS, what's your interpretation of that news today? Yes, well we had a board meeting uh, on Monday afternoon various projects and uh, <laughs> so we've been very attracted to the Ernest Giles project but in essence we agreed to approve uh, you know, a major ex expansion of our exploration plans following up on previous work done by the company and also done by Mr. Thank you. in uh, the uh, 1990s. Yeah, thanks man. Um, uh, <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah look it's a, it's a very exciting region but Calum can really put it in perspective best. Maybe you want to talk about some of the history of that project? Sure, yeah. Um, it's an area that um, hasn't had much exploration in the past, although it's highly prospective for gold and nickel. And the reason why it hasn't been looked at in any detail in the past is because um, it, it's quite remote and um, none of the prospective rocks uh, are exposed at the surface. So um, we took cues from a large Australian mining company called Western Mining Corporation, which you may remember. Um, and they carried out cursory exploration there about 20 years ago and uh, they had the idea that there was um, a buried greenstone belt out there, a um, very large expanse and it could potentially host gold. Um, greenstones are the rocks that host gold all throughout Western Australia and South Africa etc. So um, we picked up on some of the uh, encouraging work that uh, they had done there and the results they've received. Um, Western Mining moved on from that project because uh, the company basically fell apart and we've been in there for about five years now. The first couple of drill programs we did were to prove our concept of um, greenstone being there and also are there any mineralising features there and we actually intersected gold mineralisation. So that was quite an achievement with just a few drill holes that we've drilled we've actually proved that there's mineralisation in the system. So now we move forward on with another drill program to cover several targets, both generated by ourselves and also the Western Mining Corporation. I don't think people realise how long the company's been on the go because people just seem to have picked up on it over the last two or three months. You know, there's a lot of work gone into, a lot of foundations got into this to get you to where you are today. Yes, well, Callum's you know, done a tremendous yeah. amount of work over the past ten years to, to, to find these targets and you know it does take time to progress these things but yeah, fortunately course, now yeah. with some of the changes and with you know there's been two uh, capital raises recently mm -hmm. a lot of support from Metal Tiger and Starvest and now with that capital we can really get on the front foot and you know, drive that exploration in a very proactive way. You, you, must, you must be happy at the moment where you are at the moment as a company surely. Oh definitely yeah we're, we're very solid and I've been on the board for many years, almost 10 years, one of the founding directors of the company, 
and along with Andrew Bell, chairman, he's been alongside me. And we've had three new directors come on in the past uh, eight to 12 weeks, um, two of which are from aim listed company Metal Tiger, Paul Johnson and Alex Borelli. Uh, they bring a lot of market expertise and exposure to Greatland. And we've also been joined by Gervais, who has a very long corporate finance background and um, has a lot of relevant experience for the company. So, um, to have this um, extra additional support at board level and um, the additional funding that we've brought in over the past few weeks has really set the company up to take advantage of um, the resurgence in the market as well. By the way, gentlemen, thanks very much, Javiers. Thank you. Um, thanks for telling us. It's nice right. to fan, finally meet you. Yes, that's right. Yes. You know, rather than jumping yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> right. By the way, thanks very much and thank you for telling the LSE Share Talk. Pleasure. Uh, our pleasure. Thank you, Alex.